and guidance and guidance. Amen. Psalms book, uh, Psalms chapter one. That's going to read a few verses, make a comment or two, and then we'll get to the word. Amen. Psalm chapter one, bless one. Uh, chapter one, verse one. Uh, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth God, uh, doth, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of waters, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalms 2 verse 1. Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? You look at the news sometimes, and I guess so more I hardly watch it. I just, to, it upsets me. I got it, it was last night. When I was watching for a minute or two. Something one of the politicians said. Katrina said, "I ain't listening to that junk." <laughs> and uh, and it's so sad. And the heathen is raging. Why? They don't know the Lord. They have no hope. And I've said this over and over, these people that are demonstrating and burning and destroying everything, they don't have a foggiest idea of what they're going to end up with if it comes to pass. Right. Under socialism, you don't demonstrate. Right. You demonstrate, you go to jail, or they shoot you. Yeah. Now you know that, China, yeah. Russia. Right. Yeah. Socialism is just a fancy name for communism. It's all it is. And so we need to really pray, but they're really raging. They're voicing their opinion. The thing that bothered me the other day was, I don't hear any Christians saying anything. I don't hear anybody. And I know the answer is Jesus. If Jesus is in your heart, you won't have such rage. Amen? I don't hear nobody talking about that. I, I, I sit underneath the hair the preachers preach and I really don't you know they talk about how bad it is and that it is but we're not getting across to the world as we should or our community as we should that Jesus Christ is the answer Amen. he's the one we need and we Amen. need to get back to old timey worship of the Lord Amen, Amen. Uh, this one old timer some years ago said we need to go back to horse and buggy days <laughs> and I thought no we don't need a horse and buggy days we just need to go back to where we believe God hey, yes. I don't know how the rest of you feel but I'd rather drive a car than ride a horse amen right. amen <laughs> and uh, but the, it's not that in those days there were bonnets and all that stuff you know and like even with that wasn't what made no. America. It was their heart. Their hearts was right, and they believed God. They prayed and trust God. I remember when I was in church up there in Kingsport, these old timers said, "You know, during World War II, you'd walk up the lane or up up a road, and all of a sudden you hear this old timer back in the barn praying, oh, God, watch over our boys. Oh, God, bring my sons home." You go a little bit further, and in the hen house, you heard the wife crying, crying at, Oh God, oh God, watch over our boys. Oh God, protect America. You don't hear much of that anymore. One fellow said, I'm My grandmother, about every other time, when she went to the hen house to get the eggs, she was there for about two hours, and you'd hear her praying. You'd hear her praying and seeking the face of God. The heathen are raging because they have no hope. 
They don't know the joy of Jesus Christ. Now, my question, and I'll probably close with this, is uh, where's your joy? Are you looking out at all the dirt and filth and stuff that's going on, or are you looking up and saying, praise God, the trumpet may sound today, I'm going home to be with the Lord. Amen? Amen. Yes. The Amen. Lord is still in control, whether it looks like it or not. Right. Yes. And we as God's people need to rejoice in the Lord. One of the best compliments I've ever received about anything that I've done was, you ain't changed, Brother Long. Amen. And I just looked at them, you know. And, and, and what they meant was, I still, when the Lord moves on me, I rejoice. Right. The Lord moves on me, I wave my red hanky. Amen. 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 Most people think I just do that, do that out of emotion, but I don't. And a while back, someone asked me, said, you're not waving that red hanky much. I said, the Lord's not impressing me to wave it. Amen. Right. But, but what is happening to us? The heathen's raging while we're playing shut mouth. Yeah. And I praise the Lord for a drop of ages and the men and the stand we take. And, and we need to stay with that. Just stay with that stand. Yes, give God the glory. And give Him the honor and praise. Amen. And rejoice in Him. And praise Him. The heathen are raging. Why don't we start talking about Jesus more? Why don't we start rejoicing in the Lord more? Amen. Hey. And, and, and praise him. Uh, this lady, she always smiled and hung to him when she went to the grocery store. And she said, this lady come up to me and said, uh, I notice every time you come, you're always smiling and saying, I said, don't this process food bother you? She said, no, my father takes care of it. Huh? My father takes hey. care of it. That's the way it ought to be. If you're not careful, you will look at all. You'll, you'll be looking down here at the dirt. Yeah. And not looking up. Right. I'll, I'll tell you this. This whole time, a preacher made the statement that he was in a church meeting or something. And this uh, young preacher said, I want you to look at that woman. Look at how short her dress is. Uh, look at that. What do you think about that, preacher? He said, I think you need to look a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he had it, didn't he? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And that's where it would be. So, now for the final statement. To the work, to the work. We're going to work. Amen. <laughs>